Look at his back. Look at his back. I can't even get my hand all the way around it. Look at that. And man. the camera actually wow. recorded it. What a miracle fish, man. Where we are going, there's, this will sound dumb until you see it, there's chum in the bushes. Okay. It's a good twitch oh, jigging, good... it's a good twitch jigging hole and it's all, yeah, see what I mean? Chum in the bushes. Everywhere. Um, it's chum a, in the bushes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> see what I mean? Chum in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> you need like three minutes of casting in there to know, yeah. but it's worth you getting the first three minutes of casting in there. How about that, huh? First fish on camera, no pressure. Yeah. Just a little guy. Coho? Yeah. Nice job. I told you, man, that spot. That spot. <laughs> I made my cast. I realized I had a little bit of gravel in my reel, so I took my reel apart to get the gravel out. And started stripping, like, I don't know, fourth strip. Almost oh, jumped right. out of the net. Let's go. Beauty. Absolutely. Nice job. Wild one. Gorgeous fish. fish All right, you want to get a little underwater release here? Absolutely. Let's Ready? get him kicking in the water. Absolutely. Let's do it. Oh, Listen, man. God, man. Be glad you landed that because at this river, you can go. It you, yeah. It doesn't always go like that. You can hook like two right here and then go six hours to your next bite. Oh. But listen, man, you could get another one in there right now. Keep casting. Not on bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that oh, there's one. Oh, little guy. Jack, yep. Good. There we go. My God. He, oh, there he goes. There go. As my reel falls apart. Oh, that was a re that was a chrome coho right there in front of me. That was just eating your line, bro. Yeah. Maybe he'll bite it. You got one? Taking a piss here. He's got a fish. Let's go get it. 30, 40 minutes since he got that beauty on the fly rod. He's hooked up again on the spinner. Dude, I didn't even buckle up my pants. They're falling down inside my waders. These are beauties. Absolutely. So silver. Money in the bank. Another one. Another wild one. Yeah, release them. Do whatever. I got good footage just filming this. Do whatever you want. Beauty. Look at that lice. Mm, see you later. Nice job. How about that? Look at that, man. Two for two. Two, for two. For two for two for you and like three lost for hey, me. Man. All right, you ready to head upstream? Try out some new water? All right, well, we didn't film any of this because my camera didn't want to turn on is great but I just caught a nice chum on the twitch jig and he wants to get back so we're gonna get him back see ya there you go didn't film any of the fight but that's fine but that's fine we'll get some more <laughs> surely I do wish I filmed that but I will not turn my nose up at a nice green goblin that decides to bite my jig like that chum did that one was actually uh Obviously not silver or anything, but he was decent condition. That was a fun fish to fight, and I wish I filmed it. All right, we're actually recording this time. Might lose the freaking fish though, my God. This thing's going nuts. I thought it was small at first because it came towards me for a bit. But that's a solid coho. All right, he's getting pretty close here. Man, what a beauty. That's a nice fish. Whew. 
All right, buddy guy, you gotta be played out by now, right? As I say that, I'm sure he'll jump or something here. That's awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he's colored up, too. Beauty. How about that, huh? Beautiful. Beautiful is right. Gorgeous. Look at that fish, man. Yeah, another wild one. We're getting a lot of wild ones. All right, camera, you record that? You did record that, thank God. That's very pretty coho salmon right there. I actually think it might be snag, but it's f giant. It's not the next fish. I don't think it's it's probably not snag. I uh, no, I I'm, I might be wrong. I don't know. I, I thought I saw some. I might have even seen someone else's lure. This is giant. This is huge. I could be wrong, but I think it might be really, really big. Yeah. No, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't feel snag now. Dude, this might be like my biggest coho. Like, period. Just, yeah. Just play it out. Don't even worse it. Yeah. You're gonna Let me loosen my drag a bit. It looked super nice when it came up. Here I am fly fishing like a dude. Oh my god, it's big. Let's go. Yeah, take your time. This might be really, really big, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be so stoked. Like, this might be my biggest coho ever. He's really close. Oh, it's huge, man. He's a gorgeous fish. He's not ready, though, man. He's not ready. He's not ready, brother. Nick from Jig Geek. Thank you, sir. This is one of his hoochie jigs. I've only used these a couple of times. Oh man, I want to land this fish. It's pretty damn big, man. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Oh my. Look at that, dude. Man, that is a, that is so fat. Oh my God, that is a big fish, man. He whomped the hoochie. That is a big fish. Wow, dude. Look at his back. Look at his back. I can't even get my hand all the way around it. Look at that. And the camera actually Wow. Recorded it. What a miracle fish, man. This right here is for sure gonna be my thumbnail shot. Just a giant coho. Oh my god. Is that getting the whole fish in the front? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, barely. Yeah, get a little shot of him like halfway in the water. I love these shots. Like watching him breathe and all that. There's probably water on the microphone, so I doubt you can hear me. I'll probably refilm this, but oh, Nick wow. from Jig Geek, Dude. my man, you have hooked it up right here. I've only tried using these hoochie jigs twice, and I honestly didn't have that much confidence because it's just so far out of my comfort zone of jigs. But that bright green hoochie jig right there just caught me a really big coho. Wow. The funniest part about that is that I was really debating whether or not to come out with you today. Because for the past two days, I've also been here at first light. Like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, I was just like, man, even this morning, I was like, I know I already said yes, but holy f I'm tired. Even before this fish, I was like, oh man, we had a good day. I'm glad that I, you know, decided to come out here. Well, now. But now, man. I'm just so stoked that I could be there here for that. If there was ever a strike that I wish I got on camera, oh my 
God! Oh, no. <laughs> Buddy, I mean, I'm not saying I told the show, but... So I'm... here's the chain of events. <laughs> About five seconds ago, you said, Buddy, I think we're going to hook another fish in this pool. Yeah. Twitch, twitch. Bang just the biggest most aggressive strike i think i've ever got i saw that fish take oh did you i that felt cool. on one twitch i felt a bump on the next twitch it was just immediately slamming it peeling drag hoochie, and i oh. that was like a good fish as well they're just on the hoochie i am absolutely convinced on hoochie jigs that's wild man that is wild who would have thought how are you fishing it just like a normal twitch jig, man. Like, I don't know, yeah. Ooh, that's a good fish. That's another good fish. Oh, my, oh, that's a chum. Yeah, I've never caught a chum out of the deep part of this pool. That's not a bad conditioned chum. Well, this makes up for the other chum that I didn't film. Listen, Nick, if you're watching this, I'm gonna buy 20 of your green pattern hoochie jigs. Okay, man, like, <laughs> this thing works. I was so skeptical about such such a big presentation of lure. They're just smacking it, though. I like, know, like, so aggressive, it's, man. It's awesome. It's super cool to watch. Oh, man, Mr. Chum just going nuts. Not a bad little chum. Oh, look at his gash. Oh, on. what is that? That's a sea lion right there. Got... Sea lion said, you're mine. Damn, bro. That's a rough break there, buddy. Let's you get you. Like a... Any... I'm just going to get him right back going on his way. He has obviously endured enough stress with fighting a seal in the estuary. Oh, like, yeah. Any... Look at that right there. All right, buddy guy. Go spawn. Oh, Wait. Your... Oh, shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go spawn runs off with the hoochie. Wait, wait. It's not still okay. Good. It's no. Not. Your line was just wrapped. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. No way. I just got bumped, and I didn't film it. But you just got hit too in the current. Also using a hoochie jig. This is a different pattern that he just put on. I have two hoochie jigs, and we're using both of them. Yeah. <laughs> I know we can't lose it. Do we got a bear? Maybe. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I think that's a bear. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I just got hit immediately on the drop yeah. with a spoon. Yeah. Yeah, got him. Wow, did that thing hammer it. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever, I'm pretty sure this is a chum, and I don't think I've ever caught a chum in a spoon. So this is interesting for me. Could be a call, though. I don't know. I think it's a chum. Wait, it's fighting, definitely. Definitely a chum, I think. Haven't seen him yet, though. Oh, there he goes. Lost him. That was cool, though. That thing hammered it. We got outro this video. We got outro this video? How it was a good video, it? right? Hey? Eh? It was a good video, it was an right? Awesome video. Awesome day. It was a great time. It, it has been fantastic. absolutely a it good was time. A pleasure. A pleasure. And we will do it again. We will do it again. Thank you so much to my three tier threes, Dustin Hopkin, Henry Cole, and Chris Colley. And of course, thanks to all the patrons, all the viewers. As always, thank you for watching.